Like when I was like, probably like, I think all my life, I think my biggest, one of my biggest insecurities is probably my hair. And it would just be like, what the fuck do I do with this hair? Yeah, a lot of time you see me at the braid, I was braid tuck. Braid tuck was something, it was something else. You think I've changed a lot? Like as a person since then? I, no, I definitely feel like that. I feel like I can talk. I'm just more comfortable with who I am compared to like me last year. I'll always be like, I know people be like, you don't want to grow up, or, which I understand what the fuck they mean by that. But it's like, I just imagine myself five years from now and like, I'm the person who I want to be. I think I just remind myself like every day like this shit takes time like you can't just wake up tomorrow and be like you. I, the biggest struggle I think at 21 is like realizing like I'm comfortable with being myself and wanting just to be yourself not wanting to indulge in other things like just being you. It's, is important right now. Like, how do you make a fairy tale? Like, how does somebody do that? They have to live the fairy tale. It's so funny, though. Like, I don't know what I'm a part of. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I say God, but like, I think, uh, like, love is God. Yeah, I think love is God. <laughs> like, I think everything that is positive, like love, is God. Like, I think I, my first ever dream as a child was to be a ballerina. I think, I think a lot of opportunities that I wanted as a kid, I didn't get to do. So, and I probably forgot about my dreams. And then like, they're all just coming back to me now. Like, I think that was like my first like, fuck, why can't I do that? <laughs> A lot of your dreams are probably dreams that have been demolished. <laughs> like, <laughs> that have been like, no, you can't. Now I kind of feel like what is stopping me why can't I do that? <laughs> I can do fucking anything I want. You know what I'm saying? I only have one time to do it. So why not? Why not do it all? I have really big fucking dreams. I have a lot of fucking dreams. Well, I feel like being a ballerina is fucking crazy. Like, I want to be a fucking ballerina. Who, <laughs> who the fuck says that? Like, who the fuck are you? And it's not even, um, God talks to me. So I, I just feel like my path is, um, it's just a lot, but like, I feel like God speaks to me through a lot of shit. So like, if I'm always seeing the ballerina everywhere I go, then He's just reminding me, like, you at seven year old, seven years old, Hook, wanted to be a ballerina. And imagine a seven-year-old girl um, throwing a temper tantrum because she can't do something that she wanted to do. And now God's like, I'm going to give you the opportunities that you've always wanted. And you just got to, I just got to listen. You just got to listen because... Um, God is everywhere. Like, 
you can ignore it. God is everywhere, and you can ignore it. <laughs> there's going to be two. And my, this is how my mind works. Well, there's two people, I guess. There's way more than two people. But there's two people, and then you're going to get faced with, like, opportunities from each side all the time. And it's like, what? Where do you want to go? Like, are you know what the right thing If I feel eerie about something or if I feel like, mm, that's not God talking to me, I only try to do things out of love, like, out of things that I'm really like, this is right, like, or I have no di- I have no doubts in. That's why I hate being like indecisive. When I don't know what to do, that that gives me anxiety. <laughs> I like I need to know what to do at all times, or it's like I don't like that. I just don't like that. I don't like that at all. But then God also talks to me like later on, this is what you should have done. You didn't know what to do right then and there, but. When you think about something for so long, like after a situation happened and you just keep thinking about it, and it's probably, you're having a conversation with God. Like, well, hook this next time, if this um, um, situation occurs, you can handle it like this. I try to understand everything. Why you're saying this to me, or, or why are you acting like I try to do that a lot so I don't act um, out of character. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And honestly, I gotta just thank God for like, I, I, I don't know, like gratitude. <laughs> like gratitude for real. Like when I, I think when I go through like shit, anxiety and shit, like I just um, think about um, thank you. Cause my mind used to be fucked up. And like the only person or thing, spirit, whatever, fucking believe in that helped me through that is God thank you for real thank you like this is gonna be the craziest project ever because you're literally gonna get like even the process of the mind but I'm very scared because like I don't want to let people know this like, it's kind of dangerous to what let people know this much. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's just, it's just trippy, okay? Um, no, it's just very, like, uh, t- I, even I was, like, thinking about talking to you about it or, like, sending people my voice recording. I'm like, he's going to know my mind, how I think. I don't think I like that. Like, I don't want motherfuckers thinking they know me and they don't. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get it together. But I was like I was just off the shit. Hold on, my fucking bitch come in with my fucking shit. So like here you you're, you're not in the shot. You're not in the shot. You got it. You got it. Thank you so much, beloved. We appreciate it. This was the peach one or the mango. Which one did we get again? Uh, I don't even know. I think I it's peach. I put it on the I don't. I think it's peach. Yeah, me too. Thank you. What they don't realize. Anything they say to me that is, I guess, positive or not n- nothing negative, but like if it's positive, that's God talking to them through the, or talking to me through them. But some people don't even know that. Like <laughs> some people don't even realize what when they say some shit to me, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why did you like that's spooky? Like, don't, don't say the right thing to me. Like, <laughs> don't say the right thing to me. Don't make me. It's it's so odd to feel like something's perfect to me Hmm. it's so funny though like what I don't know what I'm a part of like I don't know like I say God but like I think uh, like love is God yeah I think love is God (laughs) I I think everything that is positive like love is God and then I had like the epiphany oh I think I was at a party or like not a party like a kickback like in my when I was in Miami um they were just playing music, and I was like, wait, is music my god? Is it, is it, is it? So that's what I call god. I call, I'll be like, oh, music god. <laughs> like, oh, that's music god talking to me. Because I can be in a fucking fucked up situation, and then I'll just like start, I'll tune everything out. Like, I'm not even, I will just listen to the music. I'm not even, like, I will ignore the fuck out of you if I feel like some type of way and music's playing, I will go right to the music and like touch the speaker. Because it's like, 
I don't feel, that's the only thing that makes me feel good. If I'm really feeling like I can't do this, to touch a speaker, feel the vibration, to feel like somebody's talking to you, like that's how God talks to me through music. And that's the easiest way I understand it. Now, um, getting implemented in like movies and like shows, like now I can understand that more. But it, it, it's definitely always the first thing was music. The first thing I understood was music but so like the only thing real to me is music mm. or and the only thing real to me and i love music so the only thing real to me is love once you know that's the only thing real is love nothing all that other shit is not real like ego all of that like all of that bad shit is not fucking real so i i have to learn i have to learn that's another thing i really want to fucking learn is to trust because I have to I have to trust God to know that I would not he would not or she whatever you fucking like I wouldn't get put in a a situation that is troubling if I'm not troubled you know like because I I don't gravitate to that that's not me I I won't I don't gravitate some people go out and look for that shit never I try to stay far away far away from it as possible because it's not me and you forget who you are and it's fine if you veer off because you're going to forget you're going to forget and I'm I'd be so worried about like what do I forget about all this shit because I used to be like this when I was a kid so like one of my biggest fears is like that's why I'm kind of scared to like (laughs) honestly to like blow like because like I'd be like what if I forget this shit again that's so like that's such a fucking question isn't it god is just within you i think god is within you so god is you that's a crazy statement to say (laughs) but if you know you know (laughs) if you know you know i don't want to ever be like god is me i don't want to be like it's not like that but God is you. I think we all just have our own little gods. <laughs> I don't know. Just look at different religions and you can't be like, there's no similarity. Like, you know what I'm saying? It like everything is just here to make us be not feel like different when we should all kind of be like the same, we're the same. But just know if I'm a God, you're a God. For real, real shit. So if I say I'm a God, you're a God too. And that's what it is. A lot of people wouldn't understand that. A lot of people would not understand that. A lot of people... I don't want to say, like, I'm a god. Because I used to, like... It's dangerous to think like that. It's dangerous. And that type of, And the reason why it can't be said, because a lot of that shit goes to somebody's fucking head. So that's why it's kind of like... Uh, do I want to say that? Cause I don't want I don't want to get people riled up in that way. Cause a lot of y'all motherfuckers stay humble. You can't stay. A lot of people can't stay humble. And you, we won't get far with everybody being with their nose up. <laughs> but in order to be a god uh, or whatever, you gotta know what it consists of. You gotta know who you are. You don't even know who you are. You can't be like, I'm a god, and not know what the fuck that holds, what that means. But here's another point. I can never say I'm a god. I can never say I'm, like, there's a difference between saying I'm a god and I'm your god. I'm nobody's god. The only god I am is to myself. I hope that what's spiraling through your mind is, are you questioning yourself? Like, am I, am I god? Am am I? Am I God? That's a great question to ask yourself. I guess it's all about what helps you. (laughs) But if you know, you know. I mean, if you know, you know. This is my fucking best bitch, bitch. I'm gonna take over the fucking world. Three, three, three shit.
the biggest advice I can give people my age right now is to stay off your fucking phone. Please just stay off it. It's stupid. It's stupid to, I don't think it's, it's obviously everything's a blessing and a curse, but it's like, if you leave your phone alone and go outside and note, you'll notice way more. You'll pay attention way more. If you're on your phone for more than an hour, your attention span is getting, you're, you're kind of, you you deserve more. You deserve more. That, a fucking, this is what they gave us. They gave us a phone. Or right, this is how I'm living. This is my aunt's house. I have a big ass TV, a phone, I have a computer, all this technology and shit. Are you satisfied? We gave you that. Like, we gave you all of this. Uh. And some motherfuckers are comfortable with living like that. You should not fucking be comfortable with fucking living like that. Like, new slaves, that's for real. That's some real shit. They want you to be comfortable with living regular, but there's nothing wrong with wanting more. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's gonna be way harder for you. It's, it's way hard for me to become, I'm literally from Riverside, California, and I go through a lot of shit trying to be a, a, a rapper or whatever. I want I don't know what to call my artist, creative. I don't know what to be called really, but I go through a lot of shit and the little, little shit can make me be like, if I was not white or if I wasn't, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't be going through this shit. To be a winner is harder to be a loser. The way. Mm, let me think about what I just said. No, it's definitely harder to be a winner. I think <laughs> it's easy to lose. <laughs> I think it's easy. To, I don't know. <laughs> like, but it's never too late. It's never too late. Too late. Like that's the that's the thing about God and love. Love is patience. God and love, they know they don't give up on you. Nobody, like that's why it's really it's interesting. To, I don't want to get into this, but like, sidebar, like when somebody tells you they love you, it's like, how do you leave one day? It's like the pay you because love is patience. God will never give up. That's why you can never give. That's why you can never give up on God because God will never give up on you. I know music for certain will never leave because I always end up going right back to music. Why? Because I love it. That's the only thing I, that was my first true love. First true love was music. Big rat. Hello. Why this beat so damn hard? Oh, damn hug. How'd you get this fucking damn far? Teach a bitch just like she on campus. I'm savage. Fuck around and get your ass handed like a bandit. I won't talk to the nigga because that nigga's average. When I walk out, bitches pop out. Dummy, bro. Why, why, such a dumbass? I, bro, you feel me? I was like, what? I was like, hi, BK. <laughs> I'm like, well, fuck you and her. I'm just messy. <laughs> Stupid. My phone's finna die. I'm not even. So. Only thing I can explain love as. The only thing I can explain love as is music. Like I think it only consists of like all my examples. It just goes straight to music, but to me, love is just never giving up on something, somebody, something. Um, love is smiles. Love is being like comfortable. Love is colors. Love is just good. <laughs> good. <laughs> love is not harming anything else. Love is, love is life. Love is my mom, my grandma, my grandparents. Mm. 
love is crying with somebody else like those are things of love those are all signs of love so yeah and you're never gonna know like love love is always gonna keep um well it should always the bar should always keep getting raised always like i don't i can't say what actually all love is because i'm only 21 and this is all i know from what love is you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. love to me uh 29 is not going to be the fucking same mm. it's not going to be the same at all i'm gonna i'm gonna experience like a whole bunch of different things so i'll probably have a whole different other, we got to do this again and like i'll have a whole different other perspective <laughs> of like love now that's why i love like talking to like old people and like hearing what they have to say because they've been through a lot mm -hmm. i've and i think i've always been like that um i've always wanted to know what the um, people older than me like the ogs be talking about they have a lot of answers. You just gotta understand it. I'm kind of, I, I love wisdom. Like I love, um, that's how I learn best. Wise, wise people. I want to be a very wise person one day. When I'm like old, seventy, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, on the porch. Okay, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm thinking too far ahead right now. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Where the fuck do you want to go? I always, I just want to be a better person, a good leader. I I kind of feel like music is just a part of it, but I think, um, like I kind of think like more than music, I have to be a good leader. <laughs> And music is just a part of me. But maybe I'm here just to show people a better way of living or I don't know. I don't that that's another question, like why the fuck am I here? <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be somebody that helps helps a lot. Like I need to help a lot of people. Sometimes I feel like I don't do that. That shit is so crazy. And I'm really mad I'm like tearing up. <laughs> Just making it better to be here. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I can handle like a lot of shit. I don't feel like a lot of people can. Mm, this nigga in my head right now is like, bitch, shut the, why are you crying? <laughs> like, why are you crying? I'm a crybaby though. My mom always said that. So annoying. I'd be like, stop fucking saying that to me. <laughs> I don't know, that makes me like think, like actually being the leader, like not, of being able to like show these type of emotions to like people because like I feel like crying and like shit like that's like kind of like a sign of weakness in a way but like I also feel like it's kind of abnormal for people to think like that <laughs> I definitely feel strongly about that I think I just never said it out loud to anybody else Like, not even, like, none of my friends. Because <laughs> it's, it's definitely, like, deeper to me than anything. But, I don't know, maybe sometimes I do wish I could tell my friends, like, all that shit. But, I, I, no, honestly, like, like, a lot of my creative friends, and, like, even my friends, we always talk about, like, oh, yeah, like, changing the world and, you know, like, the gist of it. I just think right now, it just like, are my thoughts, like everyday thoughts, trying to change, or like knowing to like, you can't change shit, 
that you want changed because they're like too big of problems. But you can't get wrapped up in that shit, like actually. So now, but the first step is actually figuring out who you are. So that's what we're doing. That's where we're at right now. You gotta figure out who the fuck are you and what do you bring to the table. Then once you do that, you can start helping. So that's why I can't wait to like, that's I think that's like catching up to like what we were talking about in the beginning of just um, five years from now or like mid 20 me is gonna be a, I can't wait to see that so I can actually do the things that I should be doing but like I, I'm just now learning like how to help other people properly in like be a good friend like that's really important to me like yeah cause I think those are things you just need to learn <laughs> I feel like that's just things like you need to learn this as a person how to be a good friend how to be a good daughter how to be a good sister a granddaughter because those, the, those are the real people that actually know you. Mm-hmm. And once you're surrounded by those type of people all the time, you kind of, like, have a way more understanding who you are because you're kind of like little pieces of them mm. inside of you. So, I'm, like, such a... I don't know who I am. <laughs> I'm, like, such a person. <laughs> like... I'm such a, I think I'm so deep, but like, it is what it is. Thank mm-hmm. you.